The innovation pipeline came about um, because of communication, really is the bottom line. So we often have faculty come to us and say, have you used this technology? Or as I'm doing research and finding really cool emerging technologies, the way to do it is for us to put it through this innovation pipeline so we can research it and test it and follow a process to keep faculty informed, faculty engaged, and also have them um, provide feedback on what's working, what's not in the classroom. It's a four-step process that we have. Um, the first stage is the concept stage. So that's when faculty come to us with an idea, and it could be anything. It could be um, a group peer technology. It could be um, a lecture capture technology. It could be an app on their phone that they think is really cool. So stage two is really testing, and, and I call it the play stage. So we may pull some faculty in, um, some stakeholders in, whoever they may be, get our hands on it, work with a vendor, if it's something that we have to go through a vendor, um, do a sandbox, um, and really play and learn, and is it, is it easy to use? Is it something that um, we have the budget for, if it includes a budget? Is the vendor great to work with? Um, that's, those are all key pieces, and can we have support on this? So stage three is the pilot stage. So after we've tested, um, we've had faculty come in and put a, together a team that includes support, my group, um, members of my group, an instructional designer, myself, um, a project leader, which is usually me or someone from my group, um, and then our support center, which is also key. So we need someone to help support us through this pilot. And we come up with a pilot plan. Um, I'm in charge of the documentation, so we do the documentation for the pilot. And it's basically a hand-holding stage. So we try this new technology, whatever it is, whether it's just a one classroom piece or if it's something that a faculty member wants to use throughout the semester. Um, and we go through the pilot. And then at the end of the pilot, we determine if it's something that worked. Um, and it could, it, it's a list of everything. User friendliness, how was the support, how was the technology, were students be able to use, did it help enhance the classroom. So you have like a checklist. We have a checklist. Part of that stage three process is a, a group we call the gate three, or G3. Um, that is the, um, the CIO, my director, and faculty members that represent departments across campus that we go through and report on the pilot. And they give us the go ahead, so the green light to say, yes, roll this out, or the, the kind of stop, we're not ready yet, or the budget isn't there, or whatever the reason may be to kind of hold off and put it on the back burner. So the beauty in the innovation pipeline is not finding a technology and it's yes all the way through. There are many times that we've hit a technology stop. Or, you know what, we're not ready yet, or we don't have the support for it, we don't have the budget for it, it's not easy to use. <laughs> So stage four is the rollout. Um, and that, that's a big piece because we need to train the faculty and staff if there's something that they want to use, um, and students. So we have a lot of documentation. We put a lot of information up on our student and faculty hub. We do a lot of training. Um, we have to train the support on how to handle support calls. And if it's something that we work with the vendor, we have to set up um, all of the um, support on that end as well, and then the budget. And so that, that's the rollout is a big piece. The rollout piece is also interesting for me because you may roll out a technology and because technology is really a tool, not every faculty member has to use it just because we have it. Um, and then we include it in our Babson toolbox. So we have this toolbox of all of the list of technologies that faculty have access to um, and it is, it is part of that. With technology changing so fast, we're putting things through the innovation pipeline. Um, and we want faculty to see what's going on. It's, it's also a benchmark and it's also to let faculty know that we're just not kind of sitting around waiting for something to come to us. So it's really a way for faculty to go and see what we're doing as a department and where Babson as a whole is going with innovation and technology.